Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... I'm Big B. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... Is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. There's no one here but me. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. The Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. That your mom? Uh-huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I'm not gonna break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy is it's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. Auntie <laughs> Greenleaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. 
more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Huh. That's funny. Uh, I distinctly remember telling you just now to not fucking lie to me. I don't think you get it. I'll gladly illustrate how much trouble you're in if you keep up the babe in the woods routine. I have a lot of bullies in my life, Mr. Wolf. One more won't tip the kettle. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Greenleaf Snow's right. The tree has to go. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave, and don't... Don't burn my tree. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. This whole story of yours better check out. I will. We can always come back later. Even after I told you everything? That's it? She's off the hook? Come on. We have to get to Crane while he's still there. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. It's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? You decided you wanted a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Oh, my God. Big B. Wait, don't. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls... The girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. 
I can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. Ah! Wait, I can't. You have to just give me the chance. This will work. I assure you. Everything will be solved. I, I went to you. Damn you. Come on. Please. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God! We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's... That was... I just... I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. We've been chasing this guy. Just... Why now? Because look at him. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own... ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? You've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this- This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't, I don't. <sighs> yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the Damn wagon! I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. What are you saying?
What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fable Town business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Just didn't know when to end. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a case. 
bright will be. I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow. Don't do this. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Green ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. <coughs> well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? Alright guys, that's it for episode 3. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click on that like button and subscribe for more future videos to come. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.